YouTube, it's water slide time. I sat up here and I went out and I got cups from Dollar Tree. So this is a Dollar Tree cup. Cute, thick. So I've gotten the water slide paper already printed off. So this is what I want to put on, one of these. They're so cute. So, need some water. Yeah, it's supposed to be warm. I don't know if that's really true. We'll find out. Not that that's freezing water, but you know. I try to do what they say. So let me cut one out. I think I want to do, this is, uh, so this is more squarish. And I don't know that this is going to work because these are not for the ones that are squarish. So let me get, let me grab another one. Ah, I got a mason jar. I don't know if that's going to be much better. It might be too big. Let's see. The Santa Claus is definitely too big. The gnomes might work. I'm gonna do the gnomes. Let's see what that looks like. So this was already printed on a regular printer, regular ink. coated so hey, you have to spray it with the um, clear coat so I'm putting it in the water it'll curl up and that's fine I want it to get saturated it'll take 30 seconds or so <clears throat> excuse me I just got up and I get to crafting I just got up I get the crafting so I'm gonna swish it swish, 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 like they say in step mom how old I am? Stepmom, my favorite movie. Um, so we want to make sure we wet the surface. Just to add another item up to my counter that has no space because of all the crafting stuff. I want to keep it really, really wet. Um, I got to make sure I get the sides because it's definitely going to run over. This uh, gnome picture is going to run over. So just waiting, seeing if it's ready to go. See if it's moving, it's not, so I'm gonna let it sit for a second. So this may be why it needs to be lukewarm. That could be the reason. But this picture is so cute. I was gonna put this on a tumbler, which I have plenty here, so it's not like I can't. Since it's so big, maybe I'll do that instead. Put it on the black tumbler. Let's do that. Let me find the smoother side. I have all these tumblers, as you all know, as I keep saying that I need to do something with. So, let's see. I think this is probably the smoothest side. Stand to be sanded down a little bit. So, let's see how this is doing. So it's definitely move mobile. So I'm gonna do it on the side where it's not much of the picture. And it's sliding. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's sliding. It's sliding, it's sliding, it's sliding. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work because it's too dark. So let me lift that up. Let me put this back. I don't know why I can't get this through my head. And put it on here. So 
Well, I don't have a squeegee. Pretty sure I have one down here. So in order to smooth it out, you want to keep your fingers wet as you maneuver it. You want to get all the bubbles out, all the creases out, and sh what I call smoosh it. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. Get it all out of there. So I can see that I may have, should have cut it a little more closer. So take note of that, you guys. I mean, it, it's fine, but I can see the, in, in the, what would you call it? Creases, creases. So I would be mindful of that. That'd be some advice. And the color is starting to, let me get a paper tag. To, to leak, streak, I don't know what you would call the word, but it's, uh, I guess it could have been um, sprayed a little bit more. So I think I did it twice. So I'm gonna recommend you all do it at least three times. Most of the people that I've watched have said three times, but I'm like, ah, two is enough. Two is not enough. I say do three. I have another in the garage right now. I've sprayed it once. I'm gonna make sure I spray it three times because that's gonna go in the pink tumbler that I keep talking about. So, I think it, people seem like they maneuver these things so easily. I feel like it's gonna rip if I do that and I certainly don't want that. So, So this is supposed to be baked to make it blend in, um, I guess, with the cup. And I'm gonna just use my air fryer later. I'm not gonna do that now. And uh, just bake it to keep it on. I'll put it in there for about five minutes and uh, basically to seal it. But there we go. Not bad. Not bad. So I saw that you can, you know, exacto knife some of the extra off. But I'm going to leave it alone because I know I'll mess it up. And this is really cute. I love this design. I can uh, leave a link as to where I got the design. So, um, but I think that worked out. I'm just getting started with uh, using water slides a little more often. I haven't used it too much, just sporadically. Um, but for Christmas season, I'm going to start using it more. So there we go. Quick short video to show you about sublimation. Try to get some light on the situation for you. But the gnomes are always a big hit, so just an FYI. So notate, spray at least three times, um, cut as close as possible, um, and maybe get the squeegee. I'm gonna uh, get a squeegee. I think I have one here somewhere to get the excess water out. That would be my advice, my tips for the day. Just a real quick video just to show you because I was doing it anyway, and I'll have another one back with you soon. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what it is you want me to do, anything you want to see, and I'll be back soon.